Now next we'll know about what is a resultant force. So it is a single force or a single couple which can replace the whole force system. Now let's say I have a system wherein this is a rod or a beam where I have few forces acting. Let's say this is 10 Newton, 20 Newton, 30 Newton and 10 Newton. So this is the force system given. If we consider the same system, we should, for, we should first know what was the sign convention for it. So it is if any force which is going upward, it would be considered to be a positive force. If it is going downward, it was in the negative direction. If it is in the forward direction, it is considered to be positive. And if it is in backward direction, it is considered to be negative. Now, if we want to find the resultant of this force, that is a single force which would replace the whole system into a single force. So if uh, we have to find that, it would be resultant equals to minus 10 because it is going downwards and according to the sign convention, the downward force is negative. Minus 30 minus 10 and plus 20. So if you calculate, it comes out to be R is equal to minus 30 Newton. So now this force, which is of minus 30 Newton, would replace the whole system. So the minus 30 Newton will be, let's say, somewhere on the body will be placed as minus 30, which will be acting in downward direction, that is minus 30 Newton. And this force will replace the whole force system by a single amount of force, which is minus 30.